When I'm sitting here in Bahrain today and being honored by an American organization based in, in LA, how does it make me feel? On the personal level, it makes me feel rec recognized. I feel that the efforts I've put in, I've been advocating for peace. I never advocated for something that is wrong. Yet I was harassed, I was bullied, I was threatened. Today, when I see recognition, these are basic human needs. You need to be recognized. You need to be thanked. You need to be appreciated. So you appreciate, you appreciate me today. I need to pay it forward to someone else and appreciate someone else who is a hero, who is a speaking out. I think that we need organizations like Women Voices Now to shed light more on women in the Arab world and in Iran and in Afghanistan uh, who, who would say something that will make a difference. We have had enough of extremist voices. They have been too loud. Enough is enough. All these extremist voices have led to a world that we live in today. Support people who believe in peace. Support women who sit. I sat with an Israeli friend three years ago, and she told me, my son has told me that if he goes to a war, and her son is 20 years old, a 20 year old kid shouldn't be in a war. He should be studying, he should be at college. And she said, my son said that if I ever go into war and I had to kill someone, I'll never be the same person again. So this is damage. And on, at the same time, I heard from an Egyptian friend who said her son is in Sinai protecting his country from ISIS. Can you imagine that these two women from two different countries have the same needs? Support people like that, represent them, amplify their voices, because we sometimes undermine and underestimate what being loud can do. We, for the past 45 years, have been harassed and bullied by people who've been louder than us. Who are these people? A bunch of extremists? A bunch of people who do not respect others? And under the, under the slogan of human rights, they have violated our rights. It's about time for people like us to speak out. And once we speak out, and once you support us, it will continue. Today, I'm being honored, and I'm very proud. Tomorrow, someone else will be honored, and then someone else, and then someone else. And then we have so many women that these extremists cannot fight because they will realize that we are one team, one team against evil. So thank you very much once again, Heidi. Two women voices now um, to the team. You've been so supportive and um, I can't thank you enough. And this award means the world to me, by the way. Um, I sometimes felt that uh, whatever I've said, whatever I've worked has gone in vain and no one is listening, no one is hearing. But uh, when when an organization continents away says, Adia, we want to honor you and thank you. And come on, this is a big deal. And uh, it's a gesture that will encourage me to continue what I'm doing. It, it's a gesture that uh, means that I shouldn't be silent and I should continue doing what I'm doing. I'll never stop and never underestimate what this award means to me. If we're going to make waves, we are going to make waves and make a big difference. It's not just going to be waves and we'll work together. Adea, thank you so much. We do honor you. We do appreciate you. I am just sad that I can't hug you and, and congratulate you in person that we are continents away. Um, I know that this will be the beginning of our continued relationship with Women's Voices Now with you. And please uh, remember this day to encourage you, even when you think no one's listening, we are listening, we are appreciating you. And I, who knows who's watching right now, who's inspired by your words. Thank you for your dedication to all the women of the world for bringing them all with us here today at this festival award ceremony. And um, I look forward to getting the actual statuette to you somehow across the continents and uh, wish you a, a peaceful evening 
And thank you for accepting this award and for celebrating the 10th Women's Voices Now Film Festival with us. And I look forward to many more opportunities to work with you and to amplify your voice. So thank, thank you. Thank you very much, Heidi. Congratulations to everyone. And just if you may allow me, films make a difference. When I was younger, I was told that there are movies you should never watch. I was told not to watch Schindler's List. I was told that, oh, you don't need to watch these movies. They will have an impact on you. And I decided to watch. And because I watched that movie, this is where my empathy and sympathy began. This is the story of the Holocaust. This is where my humanity started shaping up. So filmmakers can make a difference. When you watch films like that, whether they are short films or long films, when you watch movies like uh, Stoning of Soraya and see a woman stoned to death, because she has been accused of adultery. Filmmakers are, I think, the loudest voices we can have. And congratulations for all the winners throughout the years for the great work they are doing. I'm so proud of them. And I hope we will all continue uh, joining our voices. Thank you very much. Thank you, Adina. Thank you so, so much for being here with us today. It is now time for me to transfer the to the Master of Ceremonies, Chelsea Byers, the Programs and Partnerships Director of Women's Voices Now to get our awards show underway. Chelsea, thank you so much. Thank you, Heidi. Uh, I'm so blown away and just grateful for Adea's presence today. Um, thank you all for being witness to these words. Um, we're really, really grateful for your contributions and for joining us. Um, in the middle of the night from a party you should be enjoying, but to really just communicate how important it is that we have this international solidarity. So um, my name is Chelsea Byers. I'm the proud director of programs and partnerships for Women's Voices Now. Um, it's been such a joy to be a part of this organization, and I'm really happy to be able to have steered this 10th annual uh, Women's Voices Now Film Festival. As you have heard and can now get a better sense of, we're all about promoting emerging filmmakers with an emphasis on women behind the camera, who create social change films and media to advocate for women and girls' rights around the globe. As Heidi said, this year's theme, The Unintended Consequences of Our Progress, is really is reflected in the 41 films that we've selected and seen again today in the words of Adea, our keynote speaker, who's doing her own incredible work to redefine women's roles and shape women's stories in society. For so many women around the globe, being seen as a change agent is a really deeply restricted role. Each and every one of our filmmakers has a part of our festival has proven the power of women to create meaningful and lasting change in their communities all around the globe. Uh, and as Heidi expressed, we are a very small but uh, organization, but one with a very outsized impact. And we're really grateful for this opportunity that we have to extend um, our reach and community of filmmakers uh, this year and continue to grow this network. Um, we encourage you all to continue to be a part of the work that we have in this organization. I know Becky will be sharing opportunities in the chat here throughout that, and we'll continue to uplift those opportunities online too for people to get involved. Um, in this 10th year of our festival, we've reviewed 140 film submissions and welcomed 41 films into the festival from 25 countries around the globe. Um, we will hear from some of the people who were a part of that process, reviewing the films, uh, judging the films, and ultimately deciding on the eight prizes and $13,500 in cash prizes that we'll be awarding today to help further the careers and projects of these filmmakers. We're so proud to share that these winning filmmakers will also receive a year long membership to the International Documentary Association thanks to the generous support and sponsorship from IDA. Um, and just before the award ceremony officially begins, I just wanna extend thank yous one more time to everyone who made this festival possible. Um, first, our filmmakers, whose uh, bravery and courage in picking up a camera and pointing in the direction of truth has inspired us all. Um, our jury members, this incredible group of women from around the world who volunteered their time to engaging uh, in film review, uh, but also discussion and thoughtful analysis to decide these winners. I wanna personally thank Sharafat, Cindy, Roslyn, Lena, Elizabeth, Yosa, Malika, Yara, and M Maya for their time. Uh, we also had an amazing a volunteer committee of um, people who reviewed first part of the process, this internal selection committee and our first round previewers. Um